And to me, the reason I brought the Cholani thing up, you know why? Because people that were fucked with Cholani hard as fuck, I've hit him up. Hey, dude, what's up? Do an interview. Nothing, homie. Yeah. Crickets. And I said, this guy who was a fucking fraud because he had the look. I'm sorry I don't got the raw shot. I'm sorry I don't got the, hey, homie, what's going on? Or I'm the sorry. Blue eyes. I don't, yeah, yeah. I'm, or the blue eyes. I mean, I'm sorry I don't got that. But a guy who's a fraud that you, can, you can't call anybody to say who he is got on the game like this. Right? Real quick. Real mm -hmm. quick. A guy like me, I'm from North Hollywood boys. I mean, you could run my make any day you want. I mean, like, oh, yeah, this, this was from us. Run this his was, plates. Yeah, you yeah. can run my plates all day long. But you know what? No, nah, they ain't fucking with me. But they'll fuck with the fraud. And the fraud isn't so much as Indian heritage. I don't know anything about that. The fraud is the guy said he was from a East LA gang. Right. The guy said he was from the, he was, uh, he went to the joint. It, it was all a lie. That's why as soon as all got caught, he took his whole shit down. But this is the worst part. You don't got to lie to kick it, homie. He could have <laughs> came out straight and said, hey, man, I'm from Florida. I'm doing this. Yeah. We would have accepted him. Am I lying? Tell him the truth, yeah. Tell him mm -hmm. the truth. You don't yeah. got to lie to kick it. Yeah. So hopefully that answers the Choloani fucking thing. There's another one. Tell him to look at it closely, and I want to play. <laughs> <laughs> I know you had you had a couple. We have a couple of more minutes if you want before I get some of my other questions. Yeah, yeah. I, I had I had um, a couple questions for you. Uh, the first one is night owl. Uh huh. I saw. Well, we all saw the beef you and night owl and, and what's the name had right, and then we're not trying to rehash that whatsoever. Okay? Right. First of all, do you regret? Not mending fences with Night Owl before he passed away. Rest in peace, Night Owl. Uh, first, I want to say rest in peace. And then my answer is yes. Uh, and it's hard for me to speak on it because he is no longer here. Right. Mm -hmm. I need people to understand this about Night Owl that I've been knowing Night Owl since 1994. Oh, wow. But another, another thing that a lot of people may not know that we've only seen each other twice. Throughout the years, we've kept in contact through the phone. Right. Uh, I would say a year, maybe a year and a half before um, like he passed, mm -hmm. we would t well, actually maybe a year, a year and a half before the whole situation blew up. We would talk literally pretty much every day, sometimes three to four times a day. Wow, that's how close okay. we were. So when, and I'm just gonna say the way it came out. When I didn't allow him and the other person to dictate who could be on my show, right? That's when things went south and um. They, I, I called up Night Owl like a man and I confronted him. Everybody knows I'm a very confrontational person. I don't go to people's pages. Back in the days, we used to pull up at people's houses. Right. Yeah. So I just called him up and I just said, hey bro, uh, you called in, you, you insulted my guest. This is my platform. And he just said, well, you know what? You shouldn't have that motherfucking, you know. Yeah, that, that yeah. Night Owl be Night Owl. <laughs> right, so uh, we had words and I just said, you know what, from here on out, you know, I can't fuck with you no more. You know what? I got love and respect for you, but you disrespected my platform. And then he started posting stuff up uh, uh, because I had an openly gay rapper here. Oh yeah. So he put a uh, uh, rainbow radio on his page. Right. Uh, we no longer support Tony. So he just started going off. So you know what? I didn't want to see that. So you know what I did? I just blocked him. Right. I blocked him and I blocked the other person. And then that's when he started going live. And I never saw none of the lives. I'm being honest with you. Right. I'll tell you when I saw them, probably about a year later. And I was in here working on some music and I just happened to, uh, and this was pretty much maybe a couple of months right before he passed away. Right. I just pressed play because it was on YouTube. And I'll tell you what really, really hurt me. The way he was talking about me and how passionately uh, he was lying about me, you know? And I was sitting there and I'm like, man, you know what? I can literally say, I love this dude, man. Yeah. And for him to say that, yeah. you know, that's what really hurt me. And I know there's dudes out there that are listening to uh, Tony's line. Bro, I still got text messages. Everything, you know, we used to talk about food, we talked about music, we talked about movements, we talked about everything. But, yeah, but, you, but you were pretty pissed off, Tony. That, and that's when I made the video. And the video, I, it wasn't disrespectful to any. It was pretty much directed to all three of you guys. But it was like, this is the problem with Chicano rap because it got to the point where Tony was like, Fucking pull up, I'll move this table, we're, right. we'll get down, we're gonna fight. Right. And, 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 I mean, and this is my opinion again. I think that was wrong because it was like showing, here we go again. We, if we can't talk about it, we're gonna fight. Okay, now, it, let me address that. Yeah, please. There were four lives that were going on that they were already out there and I had not addressed it. Right. People were telling me, and I'm not gonna say I was influenced because this came out on my own. Hey man, are you gonna address the whole night out royalty situation? Right. And I said, yeah, 
Yeah, I am. And I'll tell you, that was probably one of my hardest podcasts to ever do. Because I said, I'm going to address it at the very end. So I'm interviewing two guests. And I I cannot wait to address it. So the whole time, You're I, up. I, I'm, I'm angry. I'll, I would ask my guests a question. Yeah. And in my mind, I'm not even listening because I'm like, okay, how am I going to say this? Yeah. It was the most uncomfortable podcast I've ever done. So I will say this. When I went live and I addressed it, maybe wrong choice of words but i'm gonna be honest it felt good mm-hmm. oh i bet yeah. oh i bet you I know bet, but and after that it stopped now if not i would have said well you know what call me let's talk or whatever i would have right. because i had more respect but i would want to at least have asked him why did you lie about me bro and say those things i would never say those things. he's told me private things bro that i would take to my grave yeah. right you know that you know if he told me something i'm not gonna say hey, you know he told me this Gil, yeah. I, I wouldn't do that. So how did you hear that he passed away and how did you feel right after? I felt fucked up and, and I heard uh, first that his leg was cut off. Oh, uh, um, I, I found out the, the day after. I, I have friends mm-hmm. that were his friends. Yeah, mutual friends. That called yeah. me up that I didn't even know yeah. until they started going live and talking about me. Those guys, his friends reached out to me mm-hmm. and said, we don't like what he did. Yeah. You know what? And we told him he needs to stop. And Gil, here's on a positive note. They told him, here we have a platform, a Chicano platform shining light on us artists that get no light. Right. And us, our own people are fucking it up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. And so I just felt because they were telling, they were telling people, you know, Tony needs to get checked. T- Tony needs to get jumped out. Tony <laughs> needs to get this. So I just said, look, Don't bro. Need that DP. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just said, you know what? You check me. That's all I said. Yeah, yeah. yeah I get that. But, but, but I will say this, Gil, because I, I heard this. Uh, somebody sent me when you guys were talking about it. And, and I want to make a correction. There was never any going back and forth. I addressed it one time and that was it. Right. Mm-hmm. But I, I, there was a time where you said these guys are going back and forth. I've never went back and forth with those guys. I just addressed it one time. I felt good about it, and that was it. Mm-hmm. If Night Owl, not the other guy, but if Night Owl would have said, Tony, call me, fuck it, it's over. Let's it's over. Yeah, it's over, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I would have said fine. But a, a lot of times, Tony, that's a, that's also our ego thing. Like, when, once we get into a certain fight or beef, and we had our own, we had our own sh- drama on our on youtube everybody it, it, it comes with the fucking business we just as the more we go deeper into we learned how to deal with it and not get so caught up into it right, right. um but i think it, it it comes to us like uh, swallowing our pride and being like you know what right because because i'm sure if if you could go back if, if night out could come come back you guys would have probably been like hey dude this is this is it's bullshit this is mm-hmm. this is bullshit homie. it's bullshit this is bullshit and to answer your question um uh, as far as how do i find out one of his homies called me. Yeah, I have multiple homies. Oh yeah, that that because I have heard uh, people from their camp saying he better not ever come to San Diego. Our mutual friends that are connected have called me and said, "You can come to San Diego. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with you." Hey, but that's crazy. We're yeah. we're like the only fucking people that 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 shit happens to you. Yes. You can't pull up on this city, like right? Yeah. What, I know, and, and that's keeping us down, brother. Very very true. Very, very true. So, you know what? Uh, so he called me and said, hey, now I just passed away. Yeah. Now, wh- how they think of me or whatever, I said this, matter. look, bro, c- can you just tell his girl and his father my condolences and I yeah. wish this thing would have never have happened. Mm-hmm. And he did. No, and I, and I saw some of your uh, some of your posting about him. I was like, all right, cool. That's cool. Tony's putting this in there. I was like, because that, it, it doesn't take balls, but that takes humility to be like, you know what, dude? I'm still gonna say this rest right. in peace and this and that because you could have been. There's some people that be like, fuck that guy, and that's it. And, right, and yeah. that would have been wrong. Yeah, and and, and to me, because uh, I can't live with bitterness and and I can't live with unforgiveness in my heart, man. Right. I I, I need peace in my life, and I wish that maybe we could have made peace while he was still alive. Yeah. Right. Right. So so I gotta. I'm, a, yeah. I'm interviewing 28 right now. Yeah, hey, yeah, are yeah, you gonna come down to our podcast, Tony? Or we gotta pay you like 50 bucks? <laughs> oh. How much? How much you want? I'll uh, go. No, just buy me a, ham- uh, a hamburger special on a 40 ounce. <laughs> uh, hey, we need donations. We need yeah. 50 bucks to uh, take Tony to the American Cholo podcast. Yeah, bro. Yeah, and, and one thing I will say this, and I'll say this publicly. Uh, uh, honestly, Gil, you can ask me whatever you want. We'll take calls, whatever you want. I've always said that you know I'm a very transparent person. Right. Because there's people that have interviewed me. Few people recently. They're like, hey, bro, can I ask you whatever you want? Whatever you want okay they want to know about this well they, they fucking ask me then yeah. ask me of course you know i i, I don't hide anything bro so 
Um, the other one I wanted to ask you was about uh, Mr. D. 